Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability test guy here with another fun filled action pack video on reliability tests and validation topics. This current video is an introduction to corrosion testing, corrosion testing theory and application. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and let's get started! In this video, we will cover definitions and theory and application for corrosion testing. Let's go ahead and define some terminology. So what is corrosion? Corrosion is a chemical reaction between your product and materials and substances or compounds that it encounters in the environment or during its operational life. The compounds can be naturally occurring while others can be man-made, as with corrosion from air pollution. There are a few ways that things can react, decay, and corrode, but the most common form is corrosion in the form of electrochemical oxidation. Picture is the classical example of the electrochemical reaction between iron and oxygen. In the reaction, oxygen molecules accept electrons from the iron, and the oxidative reaction causes the iron to convert to iron oxide, or in household terms, Rust. Dun dun dun. Corrosion can occur from certain solids such as salts, liquids such as water, and gases such as sulfur dioxide. While compounds such as salts and gases are corrosive on their own, the oxidative reaction becomes incredibly more severe in its chemical reaction with other materials when combined with water molecules. For instance, the reaction between sulfur dioxide and water vapors in the air results in the formation of sulfuric acid, which is a type of acid referred to when you hear the term acid rain. So let's go ahead and define corrosion testing. What is corrosion testing? Corrosion testing is used to identify whether or not a system or product can withstand the oxidative compounds that it will encounter out in the field. The corrosion testing could either be a long-term test where the material is exposed to the corrosive environment for months or even years in a controlled environment to assess the impacts and effects of the corrosive environment on the system or product. Corrosion testing can also be accelerated testing as well. For instance, heat in the corrosive environment and product or system under tests can speed up the chemical reaction and accelerates the formation of resulting chemical products such as rust. You can also increase the compound and change the pH, which may also accelerate test results. Let's go ahead and cover theory and application for corrosion testing now. Some of the types of tests include salt fog and spray, acid spray testing, immersion testing, and gas corrosion testing. Let's go ahead and cover salt fog testing first. Salt fog testing can be used to simulate real world environmental conditions, such as with salt fog that rolls off the ocean, or salt water from melted ice splashing onto the underbody components of a road vehicle that contains road salts. Some of the test standards include ASTM and IEC standards that are used as guidelines for salt fog and salt spray testing, as pictured. Salt fog testing can be ran for days, months, or even years depending on your system requirements and goals for the corrosion test. Temperatures that you condition the salt fog test chamber to are typically between 25 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius. Tests can also be performed with neutral or acidic salt solutions, which brings us to the next point. You need to verify the pH of your salt solution to make sure that you are following your testing requirements for instance, if you are trying to run a corrosion test with a neutral salt solution and you discover that the pH is too high or an alkaline solution, you will need to add a compatible acid to your solution in order to get it to the desired pH range. Salt fog and salt spray tests can be constant with a constant temperature and exposure to salt atmosphere, or the test can be cyclical. Cyclical tests typically are either a dry ambient condition at 20 degrees C to 28 degrees C and less than 60% RH, or high temperature and high humidity with a temperature range of 35 degrees C to 60 C and 90 to 95% relative humidity. Let's go ahead and cover acid corrosion testing now. Acid testing is used to simulate environments such as with acid rain and exposure to chemicals in an industrial environment. Test standards used for acid testing include ASTM test standards and many more. Acids used for testing include nitric, sulfuric, hydrofluoric, and hydrochloric acids. Temperature environments can range from 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to hundreds of degrees Celsius. Acids are really, really nasty stuff. To handle it safely, use appropriate PPE and handling procedures. 
let's go ahead and cover corrosion immersion testing. Corrosion immersion testing is used to simulate corrosive environments such as marine environments where components sit in under salt fog water for long periods of time, or industrial environments where corrosive liquids are used for industrial processes. Testing can be performed using either salt water or an acid solution, depending on what your application is. Test temperatures can be from 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to hundreds of degrees Celsius. Test standards used include the ASTM standards as listed. Let's cover gas corrosion testing now. Pictured is an example of a mixed flow corrosion chamber. Test standards for gas corrosion testing include IEC and Telecordia test standards as listed. Gases used include sulfuric dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and nitrogen dioxide, and chlorine. Gas concentrations are expressed in parts per billion or PPB. Make sure you know what concentrations and gases you will need to use for your test and application based on your requirements. Again, I can't emphasize enough, safety first. Don't kill yourself. I appreciate you watching my videos and want to make sure you stay alive so you can continue to watch them. And that's it folks. Some key takeaways include safety first. I know I sound like a broken record here, but I cannot emphasize enough to wear the appropriate PPE and follow the correct procedures. Don't be an idiot and kill yourself. And also remember that increase in temperature and concentrations of the corrosive environment can accelerate the test. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments on how to develop and run your corrosion test, feel free to reach out to me at one of the description links below. Thanks again for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.